And if they have a strong militia, military organization, made up of men who are ready and willing to die for this cause, then they might realize their goal. If they're playing games, if they don't have a militia behind them to enforce what they do, and if that militia is not ready and willing to die for this cause, then they're masturbating. Feels good, but non-productive. So I don't know if they have all those things or not. Let me tell you something. You can't play with the real world like you do in your backyard when you play cowboys and Indians. The real world says if you don't have political support, you're not going to succeed. All of you in this common law court movement, I think it's great if you can establish a court. I think it's great if you can get back to the common law. I think it's wonderful if you can get people to come and argue their cases in your court and that you can make rulings that are legally binding and that you have law enforcement people who will enforce your rulings. But you don't. So you're playing games. And they will let you get away with it until you become some kind of a threat to the establishment, and then they'll do to you what they did to the common law court in the state of Florida. They'll simply come in one day and take everything and take you and lock you all up. And you may fight it for several years, and you may get your stuff back, and you may get out of jail, and you may not uh, ever get convicted of anything, but what have you gained? Tell me, what have you gained? You have no standing. I also know that if they don't have the full support of the majority of the population of Texas, this ain't gonna flock. My sister lives in Texas. My mother and father live in the state of Texas. I know hundreds of people who live in the state of Texas. Everyone that I've talked to who are not in on this thing never heard of it. They tell me that they don't want these guys taking the state of Texas out of the Union. I wonder what would happen if they held a vote with the populace tomorrow. I can tell you this, if they didn't have a majority of the people who live in the state of Texas on their side, it doesn't matter what they do. It ain't going to happen. Not in a hundred million years. And that's why, folks, I've been trying to get you people to confront reality. You know, before they ever did any of this stuff, they should have mounted a political campaign in the state of Texas to educate the population about what was wrong with the process of admitting or taking the state of Texas into the Union, why it wasn't legal and lawful, and why they want to revert to a sovereign nation state called the Republic of Texas. And they would need to sway the majority of the population to support that action. And if they did it right, they might be successful. But without consulting <laughs> the millions of people who live in the state of Texas, um, I don't know, you know, where, where do people come up with these things? You can't just go off by yourself. That's like me, and I get six guys together. Me and six guys go down and decide to, uh, to uh, withdraw the state of Arizona from the union. And we establish a government, and the six of us elect a president. It's not going to fly. Not in a million years. It's a wonderful game. It feels good. I can remember playing Cowboys and Indians in the backyard. I mean, it was wonderful. We had a great time. But we weren't really Cowboys and we weren't really Indians. And these guys aren't really presidents and vice presidents or anything else. They don't have the support of the people. It ain't going to fly. And I can tell you right now, they don't have a militia made up of men and women who are ready and willing to die for their cause. And if they don't have that, everything that they're doing is spitting in the wind. And the officials might let them play at this game and get away with it for a while. But when push comes to shove, they won't even need to go through a legal process. The people of the state of Texas 
who don't understand all this will just simply dismiss them out of hand and kick them right out of the state, probably. I don't understand why it is that so many people are living in a state of complete fantasy. And people are excited about this. But it's an extreme minority of people. They have no political clout. They have no power. They have no legal or political standing whatsoever, folks. 